guys, what's up? It's Joe Radio from Radio's Rise. I'm back here at Bert Smith Subaru in St. Pete, Florida. And guess what? We have one of what might be the biggest bangs for the buck when it comes to all-wheel drive performance. It's this vehicle right here. This is a base entry-level Subaru WRX. But before we get into this iconic World Rally Blue all-wheel drive manual transmission performance sedan let's talk about what's going on here prices are simply out of control lately especially when it comes to performance vehicles a lot of people being bummed out when it comes to not only what the msrp is but then at the end of the day if there's any markup that has been added by the dealership now for those who maybe are not wanting to break the bank or those that are maybe starting their careers off after college, after high school, after the military, is there an option that gets you around $30,000? Now, my answer to that is yes, there definitely is. You got vehicles like the Civic Si. You have vehicles like almost the Elantra N. You could get an N line, no problem. But what about if you want something more with all wheel drive? Because you look at the Civic Si, that vehicle is front wheel drive. You look at a GTI, that vehicle is front wheel drive. Well, guess what? This WRX, even though it's the base model, still has that symmetrical all wheel drive. So what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for the best performance vehicle for 30 grand, brand new, when I'm not talking about used cars, don't. Don't talk, talk about how you get a pre-owned uh, C5 Z06. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about brand new, with a warranty. It's yours. It's got the new car smell. Is the WRX at $30,000 the better way to go over the competition? Let's go ahead. Let's dive into ours and find out. Right off the bat, the color that makes, makes it the fastest. World Rally Blue, that is the tie-in to the good old days when Subaru used to be on the World Rally stage. The great news is they're still doing Rally America events around the United States and Canada and still winning, which is awesome. Now at the front of the business, you're gonna see that you are gonna get your LED daytime running lamp and LED projector beam headlight. The one difference on the base is you're getting standard Thomas Edison light bulbs for the turn singles. And that, as a way to cut costs, is a smart, easy way to do it because I don't think there's gonna to be too many people offended with the older fashioned light bulb for the turn singles. Now working our way down, you have a lot of cladding, you have the fake vent. One of the things I wish they would have done is given me a totally different area down here because you could actually see where normally the fog lamp goes. And because this is a base, you don't get any fog lights down below in the corners. So. I get it, that's how they're cutting the costs. Would have been nice to have just a little bit different corner area to kind of separate the two. But as we kind of come across the front grill, you're still gonna get that same metallic gloss gray grill with the Subaru badge there, that Constellation, all that history. Down below, you have that wide opening, gonna help bring cool air for the radiator. And then when you look at how the design has evolved, with this most recent gen, you could still see the familiar face of the WRX, especially in World Rally Blue. Now, as we rise up, you are gonna have your functional hood scoop. So don't think because this is a base model, you get a fake hood scoop. You get a functional hood scoop to feed that turbocharged flat four underneath the hood. And then when we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? Because this is another area where they're able to cut some costs. 17 inch wheel. Now you may say to yourself, well, Joe, 17 inch wheel sucks. The good news is, is that it's a nice metallic gray finish like the front grille. The better news is, is that this, this is something easily changed. So you could save money and go with the base and have the smaller wheel because you're gonna take them off anyways, maybe. Or what's nice about this wheel setup is that you don't have a rubber band thin sidewall that you find on some other performance vehicles around this price point. Tires are 235 in the width, 45 series sidewall. I mean, it's a decent looking wheel, but like I said, this is a base. We gotta keep everything in check. I can't just zonk it because it's a 17 inch wheel. Because like I said, at the end of the day, $30,000, 
not a lot of vehicles out there to buy, especially performance oriented. Now you're still going to get, unfortunately, all the black cladding, just like the people who spend more and get a WRX G GT or a WRX TR. And then Steam is going to show off. You even get the functional venting that's built into the fender opening. Now, what's amazing is you're getting color matched mirror caps. So it's nice that they didn't just give you a flat black mirror cap. You're going to get the World Rally Blue. No sunroof, of course. I'm okay with that. And you could always get a different trim that has a sunroof if that's something that you want. Color match on the door handles. This is another area where a lot of brands will make these just regular flat black. You're getting color match on the door handles. Like I said, the cladding is all the same and the all-wheel drive system, the symmetrical all-wheel drive system is all the same. Now, as we swing it around back, it's actually not too shabby because what you're gonna find is, is that the trunk gives you a little bit of kick up. You don't have a trunklet spoiler, but you do have a kick up just to give you a little bit extra aero flow. We got a color matched shark fin antenna, which even on some brands, they don't give you color match. And then you'll notice on the tail lights, same thing. We have LED brake lights, turn signals that are the old fashioned light bulbs. The gloss black extends from the center here. It's, it would have been nice to not have this, to have this body color, but it is what it is. As we drop down, this one does have an option that's been added that I've never even seen on a new WRX. You actually have the STI cat back exhaust, unique exhaust opening. I don't know if Steven could show you, but it actually has the STI name engraved into the top of the exhaust. Remember, STI stands for Subaru Technica International. That's their arm that handles all the motorsports, all the performance. And once upon a time, in a galaxy not really that far away, you could get a WRX STI, but there no longer is that option available. Come across the back, you can get a clean look of what that STI exhaust looks like. I like it. The tips are staggered. It's got a nice aluminum finish to it. And then, of course, you have your major massive rear bumper that is not color matched. But that goes for all the trims, not just the base. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see how this stacks up to the Civic Si, the Elantra M-Line, and the GTI. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hood struts, even on the base model. Underneath the hood is going to be that top intercool mounted 2.4 liter flat four turbocharged engine. Remember, one of the biggest benefits of having a flat four engine is that it lowers your center of gravity, which is actually going to improve handling compared to, a, say, a vehicle like a Civic Si. Now, besides that, you're still getting the same horsepower in the base model as you are even in the WRX GT. It's a 2.4 liter turbocharged flat four, 271 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque, and it's made it to a six-speed manual. If you know how to work the magic, zero to 60 in about 5.4 seconds, top speed, 145 miles an hour, MPGs in the city around 19. And the reason why I bring that up is that compared to the competition, Civic Si, Elantra GT, uh, uh, N or N line or the Golf GTI, this one probably has the lowest MPG rating. But that's up to you to decide how big of a deal it is. But while we go ahead, let me give you some music for your ears. Let's fire up this WRX bass and hear what the STI exhaust sounds like. Alright guys, we're inside this 2023 Subaru WRX, a base WRX. And I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, how much is this thing? I know you said 30,000, but I know it's not exactly 30,000. Well, guess what? You're right. Base, 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 base MSRP is 30,000 and change. This one does have that STI performance exhaust. So you're basically looking at a price of around $31,900 for the way this one is optioned. But you compare it to a Civic Si, Civic Si is gonna run you about $30,000. That has 200 horsepower and it's front wheel drive. Something to think about. Does get better MPGs, according to Steven. 
And that's Steven's favorite thing in the world is MPGs. But anyways, let's see what the base brings to the door panels. So what you're gonna notice is you're still getting soft touch material up top. The main difference is you're getting cloth in the center. And that's just one of those things where they're gonna cut some costs and that's one way to do it. You're still getting the faux carbon fiber like all the other trims and no gloss black. Armrest is a soft material and it's, it's leather-like. It's not leather obviously, but it's leather-like. Door pocket, big enough. I would say probably for three Uncrustables and a bottle of freshly squeezed milk from your favorite cow. Now going from the door panel to the dash, this is where the material is hard. So you have soft up top. This part is hard. That's where they're going to cut some of the costs. Slide on in. This is the biggest difference. So instead of getting one large 11.6 inch infotainment system screen, they give you two small seven inches, which is kind of interesting. And I'm surprised they didn't just give you one, but you have all your usual apps up top and down below you have your AC controls built into the screen. Throw it into reverse, backup cameras up top. It's still the same resolution as the more expensive WRXs. So don't think that you're getting less resolution because you're getting a base. And I like the way it gives you trajectory. But let me know how you feel about this interesting setup if you like this two screens. But you do have your standard temperature control and then your blower fan speed down below. Down below in the cubby, you have a 12 volt aux jack, two USB A's, and a WRX higher trim, they give you a USB C. So that's one area where they get you. Still got your place for your five day, your five day. More, you're gonna need more Twinkies than five days worth in here. But you got five Twinkies for your track day, one track day, five Twinkies fit down there. This is the magic. Six speed manual transmission, I like the way they brought some of the red stitching. Good old fashioned mechanical e brake two cup holders, pull this up. You got enough room, I would say for two Rubik's Cubes. So if you're, if you're practicing for the U Rubik's Cube Championship, you could put two in there and there's a 12 volt. And then you got the seats, the cloth material. I like the way it's two-tone. It actually has some nice grippy bolstering, manual adjustments for the driver and the passenger. And then the other area where they kinda I don't know, cut, cut some costs, so to speak, would be, of course, there's no sunroof. So you do get the same great amount of room, just no sunroof, and you get one of these. And kids, if you don't know what this is, this is a key to the ignition. You do have the buttons on the back, back to lock and unlock, but the way you do this is the good old fashioned way. That's how you fire it up. Why don't you come over here to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this WRX base. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Now, another area where they cut costs for the base is you're just going to have some rubber on the triple pedal setup, but it's still the same arrangement. So you can do your heel toe downshifting very easily. Plastic dead pedal, but that's okay because this is the base. You have your manual seat controls, just like the passenger side. I'm six feet tall and I just love the room in a WRX. Seats are actually nicely bolstered for base seats. And then of course you have your leather wrapped steering wheel, flat bottom with the red stitching, manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, and then you have the same analog dash as a more expensive WRX. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into the last piece of the puzzle and check out the back seat to see what's different in a base compared to a higher trim WRX. All right guys, back seat time in the base. You're still getting the cloth seats. You're still getting the cloth on the door panels, only one pocket. So no pocket on the back of the driver's side. I have a pocket on my side where I could get easily probably three pounds of Twizzlers. That's like a party to me to have three pounds, three pounds of Twizzlers. I could already feel my stomach hurting from the stomach ache from eating all of them. And then the back of the console, the biggest difference is no USB-Cs, and obviously if there's no USB-Cs or USB-As, you don't have heated seats as well. But you're still gonna get the same great amount of room for your backseat passengers. You still have the usable trunk, and it does come with a spare. I'm not gonna show you the trunk. If you wanna see the trunk, I'll show, I'll put a link to one of the, my other WRX reviews at the end of this one. But what I'm ready to do is I wanna go on throttle and see how this base drives, especially 
with that STI exhaust. Let's get to it. Hi guys, we left Burt Smith Subaru. We're in this base WRX, but it does have the STI performance catback exhaust. And the way that it works is, is that the exhaust is port installed. So when it comes to the United States, that is when the exhaust is installed. But let me turn down the air a little bit so you can hear a little bit more clear. We're gonna go on throttle, are you ready? Let's take her up to 3000 RPM. On throttle, here we go. Nice. So what's great is, is that you're, of course, getting all-wheel drive performance. That goes without saying. What's also nice is that it's still keeping it relatively affordable, even with the cat-back exhaust. But the thing that I like is that when you go base, you're still getting all of the same great performance that the other trims are getting. Same amount of horsepower, yeah, your wheels and tires are not the same, but that is something like, like I said, if you want to change, you can, or you can just leave it alone. Well, let's go on throttle again. On throttle, here we go. On the brakes. Nice, look at this. Woo! And the, the, the extra sound, it's not boomy. It's not going to drive you nuts on the highway, which is good, but it's gonna give you that tone that you want. And that's what's so great about these flat four engines is that they have such a great sound, you just gotta uncork them. And by doing that, you're still not breaking the bank. I mean, an Elantra N is gonna run you about $34,000, $35,000, and, and that has a damn good exhaust, and that's probably one of the best performance buys, period. But if you want all-wheel drive, you're not getting it with Elantra, you're just not. <laughs> it's just fun, it's a fun freaking car to drive, it really is. Just the arrangement of everything, getting to the infotainment system is well within reach and yeah it's a little funky having these two screens but uh at least it's the same style setup as if you go with the one large portrait style screen but the sound of this this one really is uh is where it's at the seats are very comfortable yeah they're cloth but they look damn good and they feel like they're gonna wear very, very well, which is important. Steering wheel, it's not rubber, it's leather. The gauges, easy to understand. I know they're analog and you have the small little digital display, but you have the gear indicator and everything, just like the higher trims. But it's the fun, the fun factor in this thing. Plus what's cool is that, you know, when you own a Subaru, especially a WRX, it's all part part of being part of the club, right? I mean, that's where being part of the club is just extra fun. Oh, right, here we go. Nice. Slick shifting, six speed, nice short throws. Perfect heel toe downshift placement. And even over the railroad tracks, it's just a solid. It's just really, really solid. But it's great, you can see the hood scoop. It's just all part of the experience. And just nice to have something, like I said, that's a little bit more palatable when it comes to price at the end of the day, because not everybody has 60, 70, 80, 90,000 dollars to spend on a performance vehicle. And say what you want about the vehicle. I know some of you are probably like, well, this isn't a performance vehicle because it can't do 200 miles an hour. You're still gonna have a rip roaring amount of fun in this car and uh it's not gonna break the bank but we're gonna go ahead and get back to Burt Smith Subaru and wrap this one up so I'll see you in a second all right guys been another great day in so many ways here at Burt Smith Subaru definitely want to thank Larry and the rest of the crew getting us my very first it's crazy to think my very first base WRX but let me know what you think 
is this the way to go when it comes to that MSRP of around $30,000 and getting performance as well for a new car? Let me know if this is the way you would go or are you gonna go Civic Si or GTI? But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, then you're being part of the Raise Rights family. Gotta give it up to Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. Sometimes Stephen is concerned about MPGs. I, I tell him to just go get himself a Prius and uh, ride all day long on one gallon of gas. But uh, thank you, Stephen, for working the camera. And I know deep down in your heart that you still like performance, even though you're talking about MPGs. But uh, thank you for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.